We're just uh, getting ready to run an army in mines, but we're going to shoot an actual video for it uh, because I know there's a lot of people who don't have issues healing it, so... Oh, nice. Upgrade gate from tier 2 for Monarch Boss. My taxes aren't too bad here. I'm just doing a bit of mining circle right here. No one ever comes up here, so it's nice and easy to get a bunch of iron. Uh, now, granted, it's not the best way to gain levels. Gaining levels is better on the Mystic Notes, uh, but I'm not looking for that right now. I'm looking to get some iron. That's why I'm doing this right now. Um, there should be one more node down here, if I remember rightly. We can start the circle all over again, or we can go in the middle and try to grab some other stuff, which we probably will. I just don't want to overcat myself too much. Looks like someone grabbed this note, which is fine. So we're going to head in and grab some other notes. So I'm sure most of you know there's a bunch of notes in here, but it's very popular, so it's not always the best place to go. But we're gonna see if we can grab like gold or something fun like that. Because you can get that in here. It's always fun. And especially since I'm a higher level, I don't have to worry as much about the crap that attacks me. I can just sit there and melt it, so. He's dead. Alright, let's see what we can find here. So there should be an iron node up here. I vaguely remember. Nope, not here. All right, so we're gonna go around. We're gonna go inside and try to find the other nodes in here. Let's direct this guy in the back. Give me iron notes. Uh, they can be up here too. I'm not seeing them right now. So we're going to make our way in further. And then we get to reset our nodes after this, so. I hope someone's up there getting some nodes. I can hear them. Or down here. Who knows? Maybe it was in here. Clearing out all these nodes. Yep, that's what it was. You can see. Oh, this is star metal. Yep, which I cannot do yet. Oh, there's some. There, I knew there was some. Just couldn't remember where it was. Over the top. Oh, it's not any. Hmm, interesting. We'll grab a supply crate at least, though. Mm, 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 
That's pretty much where the other stuff is, is right up here. However, it looks like someone's been picking this stuff, cleaning up. There's some of it right there. You can see the leftover crummies. The crummies. And since someone's here, we will go ahead and make our way to the start of the run again. Uh... So we're coming up on the first node, and then we jump across the way. This guy's hitting stone. Not hitting the iron node that's on the tip right here. Just right around this corner. It's either right in the ground, I can't remember. It's up top. I don't remember exactly where this is. Just gotta look for it. I passed it now. Yep, we passed it. So we're gonna head back up and hit up the side of this. So So for those of you on YouTube, hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are doing some Armine Mines, uh, Ermine Mines or however you say it. I don't know exactly how you say it, uh, but basically I wanted to show perspective of how to beat it, where you go, um, resources to look for, that kind of stuff. I know there's a lot of questions out there, especially from the healer standpoint, uh, because you have no assistance uh, when it comes to threat generation, um, you have to have some really good stuff out there so uh we're gonna get pulled in here in a minute when we get pulled in i will continue the video so uh once we get pulled we will do that see you all back here in a moment mm -mm, mm -mm. Do, 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 do. I had to blow some off for this, but that's fine. Oh, I'm just going to right to the waypoint and go. Uh, I hope this isn't a recording this time. Hmm? No, it's not a recording. What's up, Dudley? How you doing? How's uh, the moving going and everything? Sorry, I wasn't looking over there. I was stretching for a second. <laughs> yeah, no, I was I was looking away, I was working on the the recording and everything, so I wasn't really paying attention to that. So that's my fault. Yeah, don't be, don't feel like you're missing anything. You're missing the initial rush, but uh, unfortunately, the servers are so bad, dude. It's it's just crazy right now. Like it's it's kind of ridiculous, but um, I mean, I'm glad that the the move is going. I don't know if it was a good move, bad move. I don't know the extent of it, but uh, I hope. It goes better. As I said, I don't have the exact story behind that, so I didn't catch up with that ever since this drop happened. I've kind of been, I don't want to say AFK, but <laughs> not as focused. <laughs> no, I wouldn't feel too bad, dude. So there was like a 37,000 person queue in some servers. Uh, people are currently still waiting hours to even get into a server. It's it's pretty rough right now, dude. It's not perfect, and it's far from it. Uh...
Yeah, it's pretty bad. So we're about to run um, the mines. Uh, but yeah, no, it's been pretty rough. So a lot of people are just, a lot of people are frustrated with it and they don't want to, you know, keep chasing it and all that kind of stuff. And I understand that. Um, some of my friends aren't even on this server. Like we're split up all over because people just want to play and they can't even play because they can't get the servers big enough. But they're going to also expand the numbers on the servers too. Now our friends move, they have better furniture than we do. Now our friends moved, they have better furniture than we do. So we're taking it and getting rid of our old stuff. Ah, yeah. Oh, it's your wife's birthday present. That's cool, dude. That's very cool of you, man. That's a... Uh... Uh, yeah, that's... No, that's cool. So, yeah, of course. I mean, why else do you marry them if they're not worth the pain? Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of... There's some validity behind that statement. Uh... But if you wouldn't do that, you know, that stuff for him, what's the point? You know, it should be someone that you care enough to do those things. But no, that's I mean, that's a good upgrade. It's a, you know, getting a new furniture is always important. And, you know, I know when we moved, we got rid of a lot of our old furniture. Um, we also didn't want to ship it all the way up here. We moved from Illinois to Wisconsin. And so I did the move by myself. So, well, not by myself. I had a friend, but that was brutal. But we got a lot of, a lot of rid of a lot of our furniture because we just... We had to, man. It's just, it's too much stuff otherwise. You know, because you've got two kids, right? If I remember correctly, or is it one? I don't remember exactly how much it is or how many you have. Two cats. I, I knew there's like kids, cats. I couldn't remember exactly what it was, but you had two something. <laughs> See, it's, it, it's in there. You just have to find it sometimes. That's really what it comes down to. Never had kids. Okay. This is it. it. There's numbers in there. You know, all the people you meet, you forget certain things about people. But then, like, certain things, like, stay in your head. You know how it is. But yeah, as I said, you're not missing too much. You're not going to be that far behind. I mean, there's people who can't even... Oh. oh okay. Yep, that makes sense. So, I'll have to eat dinner after this. There we go. Nope, there we go. All right, so uh, not going to try my best not to ignore chat while we're doing this, but we are heading into the mines now. So uh, those of you on YouTube, thank you for keeping in here. Um, I've got a message coming from someone who's online. Hit me with a blessed message. Uh, group invites, Lord V. No, I'm not. All right, so uh, we're going to make our way down. You make your way in here. You have to be within a kilometer uh, to do the mine. You're going to see all my guys go in here. It's going to be pretty easy for them. Uh, I am going to pull an obscene amount of threat, unfortunately. Uh, it's just the way things are going to work. You know, and, and that's it. So then we're going to go down. They're going to, they should go left. But it looks like they're going to go the right direction let them do the thing but you can jump off this ledge right here and if you jump it well enough you can jump right in that tent uh, if you want to go down that way but these guys are going to go this way so we will follow them uh and then they're going to go this way you can jump around you can go there it's it's pretty simple overall to do this um let your guys do the work just sit back uh expect to gain threat here and there uh, that's why i like to roll light arm uh while i'm doing the arm of the mines um, because I can dodge and I really focus on dodging as a way to heal or not a heal, but, um, you can also get the dodge bonuses inside of it. So here's another spot where you get to jump off. You can go this way, uh, but a lot of people like to go this way because there's a crate back here in this corner, uh, with all the nice lootsy lootsies. This is a pretty big group. Yeah, we got a 33. Yeah, this is going to be easy peasy. I didn't even realize we had a 33 in here, which is great for this. So then we can show it as I get... Pounded into oblivion here. Just keep rolling. See, this is this is the advantage of the dodge right here. So we'll throw that out there, get some heal going for everybody. Turn. I wish that guy didn't take that away, but right around this corner as he goes on this. So these withered nests, you want to make sure you take those out first. Uh, 
they keep spawning the Punishers, um, so you want to focus them. So if you're healing, you just want to hit them with the AoE heal right here. Uh, and that way you can heal your guys, but you're also doing damage to the nest. It helps out a lot. And there's your elite supply chest. Uh, you'll get some good items out of it. Uh, some Forsaken stuff. Uh, these guys will just run and grab all of this. I highly recommend pulling these one by one normally, like that. Uh, but this guy, as I said, he's 33, so he is going to grab it all. I shouldn't have hit that one because I pulled aggro on it like a potato. Throw that in there. Let's do a duck, duck, dip, duck, dodge, and dive here on the rolls. Let me say give them some healing action here. So I get a recovery off that. So mine's, I've got mine set up to where I don't expect much from people. Uh, so when I take damage or when I throw certain things, I mean, I'm going to take this. Okay. This sucks. There we go. Yep, I'm going to get that. Oh, somebody get this thing off me. Come on. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like, that's why I want to do dodging. That's why I want to do all that fun stuff. So we're going to throw some healing down on this guy right here. Go and I'll get my recovery off my protection and continue throwing this out here. And then I'll throw my bubble on it. And I'd like to throw it on there because I cause damage uh, and the heal stays uh, nearly normally near the tank because normally it should be the tank taking damage. Uh, what they're going to do here is they're going to use the Azoth staff, staff and open this up. I could use mine. I don't think it's any faster or anything. I can just like do a little pump ups while this guy's doing it. And then we'll uh, go ahead and pull all this stuff. Go that shield, that heal out there. Oh, there's no friend. I don't want this guy. Put a little friendly heal down. Just keep dodging. So watch out for those ads. You get a Punisher, just take it out really quick. It's not a big deal. Take a little heal for myself. Grab that loot. Get a nice little blue right there. As I said, you get a ton of good geek here out of here. I'm going to give these guys a second to grab all the stuff this time. So just give them a second. So this guy's got to jump over still. So we just got to wait on it. Give them a minute. And then you should be good to go. Uh... we go and just start piling it in on there if you really want to have some fun we can jump up and and then spinny spinny let's have some fun you know uh then you're gonna go so we came down the stairs came to the left here uh you go down these stairs and then you can jump um and there's actually a crate down here that you can hit if you hit it right you roll run across here and there's your chest and then there's actually two uh harvesting things so if you have the ability to harvest special items you can come over here I uh, grab one of them if you really want to. Uh, I will grab one of River Crest. I forgot what the names of them were. Uh, so you jump down, come around the corner, and they're right here waiting for you. And then we'll make our way back up here. Uh, back up here. Uh, as a note, there is a note here to the left if you see it. It is a silver vein. We're going to go ahead and grab that for that free resource run. Uh, we are running out of space slightly, though, so we will have to burn up some of our... Uh, stuff that we have, which is fine. Not a big deal. Uh, we're not going to use most of it and it's buy none pick up and all that kind of good stuff. So we're going to actually do that when we get up here and someone's using the next Azoth staff. Uh, they're going to continue fighting up there. It's fine. They've probably got a bunch of stuff. They're tearing it up. I wouldn't worry too much about it. As I said, they have a 33 is so. up. And just beat it up. So they're going to jump down. Just give them a second there. So here's where I can run in here really quick, grab a couple things, tear it up. Heavy, I don't care about that. Constitution, yep, we're good. Okay, now jump down. Do a little dodgy move. Let's just take this guy out. The team. Throw that over there. Roll of roll. Just take those guys out. It's easy peasy. So let's just 
just gonna puke on me. I'm gonna take my recovery here. Get the succulent bow and we can stand in here for a minute if we really wanted to, but it's fine. And then just keep rolling our way to victory. So we're gonna come down here. Wait for this guy to throw his little axe. We can go to the star mine maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Really, dude. I'm just gonna hack that guy up. Hack, hack, hack. As I said, have some fun. They're gonna get that. Nothing I can do about that. Throw it in there. Uh, cycle who we want it to. Put it in there. Give him a nice little heal. Let Zippy run around. Kind of a mini boss. I think he's technically bigger than a mini boss, but he goes down so fast. Um. And then we get the Azoth staff. They're going to do that. They're going to translate it. So while they're doing that, you can go through your gear if you think something's good. That's dexterity. That's not going to sell. 17 strength and mortal strike, and it's bind on pickup. So we're going to burn that up. If it's burn on pick, uh, bind on pickup, you should do it. Uh, that's nice. I'll give that to somebody. Constitution, intelligence, medium. No. Uh, focus, constitution, medium. Possible someone could want it, but I'm not going to sell it because our market's all kinds of jacked up. Uh, 15 strength can't get you anywhere. That's not going to get you anywhere. Uh, that's not going to get you anywhere. We got weight again. Took a little long to do that, unfortunately, but uh, it's all fine. We'll just throw it on there. That'll heal them. They'll be good. Uh, so that was another note to translate the staff, by the way, to get through the mines. Um, there was another circle up here, right here, a nest that I missed. Just because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, and there's one more nest back over here in the corner. And I just smoked this guy and he's just done. Just throw it down on here and just make him run. And you get all the heals done too. Look at that. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Let's do some rolling. Someone's going to do the Azoth staff. So nobody send someone over here to do the Azoth staff. Uh, and then the rest of the group can come around the side and grab all the stuff. So there's two nests. I don't know what they're going to do. We'll find out. He's going to come back this way. Nope. He's going to go across, it looks like. Nope, he's going to go this way. Okay, cool. Everything's done. So as I said, what we're going to do is we're going to stand right here. It's a perfect spot. Easy stand point. Throw this, this out. And just throw the heels right on top of that. Just let it, let the heels take it. If they need extra heels, you can throw that on them. It's fine. They should be good. And just pound on the, help these guys out. Do as much damage as you can without making it too difficult. Get those rolls going, that's the key right here. It's definitely rolling while you're doing stuff. All right, come on, someone go get that. All right, so they shot, that's fine. That's their choice. Just keep throwing stuff on there, man. That's all you gotta do. Easy peasy. Grab some loot on the way. So we're gonna throw that down there as I said. Someone should help me out here in a minute, I'm assuming. I think I took that out. Sweet. Oh, it's the nest, just like we said. Trust in your team. If any heals, I'll grab them here really quick. I can grab heals for myself off of a Q. Then you come over here. So we start over there, run all the way around here, and then there's a nice little chest right here. Uh, it's not the elite one, so it's not as good as the first one, uh, but this will definitely help you out. 
on your journey getting up there. Um, and then we get a save point here, a little respawn point shrine. So if you die, you go here, which is nice. Um, he already went down that way, so I'll hold this one down. Someone else go get that one. Uh, he's going to get the guy. Oh. I need someone to... There we go. Alright, so then there's going to be a, a troll that comes from down here. I don't know what you call him, but... I can just sit up here if I want to. But we're going to need to loot here in a minute, so... Yeah, just sit down there and throw stuff down there. Let's keep throwing heals down there. That's all I got to do. There you go. And then you jump down. Grab the bone. Uh, which you do get from the dog outside. I should mention that. So make sure you grab that... Uh, that quest for the dog, unless you get pulled in. Um, I was able to run all the way here because they were saying I was too far away. So, yeah, there's that. So we're going to run across here, probably make all this man. It's a nice troll, and there's three guys in the front. So said we have a 33, so he's going to bundle it all. You can pull those across the bridge. Not a big deal here. And I'll just start working stuff here. And that's why I like the splash heals here, because I can keep giving damage, but at the same time, I'm still healing a lot of damage here. Then blow up. Yep, that's we knew that was coming. Oh, okay, I'm going to take that. I can group up here. Start throwing heals down on the ground. Alright, go crazy. Keep throwing stuff and let them. Rainbow. There you go. And then just give Pep that one. I gave it to the, the guy this time. He kind of said, but, oh, shit. He said, no, sir. You're doing too much damage. Let's go buy some time here. And just do some rolling, some dip, dop, dodging, and rolling. Uh, we'll grab this. So one of you needs to make sure you grab this toolbox here. Uh, there's a candle in it that you have to use for the next uh, part. So they're going to head in there while I grab this. So I am now the person that will be grabbing um, this little node right here. It's right in front of us. You can see it glowing right there. Um, they did some damage. We'll let them do that. So you can pull all these and clear this out. So you just have the uh, big guy over here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just to make sure it hits... Make it some nice heals. I'll throw that on them. You can throw your beacon on the people too. And then you can also heal them with the good old fashioned slappy slappies on the ground. But there you go. Uh, it's the Ravager. Give him some little healing points. He wants me, is what he wants. And then you just throw that little heal on there. Look at that. And he just sits right on top of him. Heals everybody nice and steadily. Right on some extra heals. I had nothing they need to worry about. And then I can go ahead and do this shrine here really fast since I have the candle. You gotta use this shrine. There you go. Um, and then it does all the rest of it. Everyone gets access to it. Um, we're gonna get an ad here. And I've got aggro on him, so that's fun. I missed. Oh, that's terrible. I'm doing bad. Oh, we're actually going to pop him. Do you want to get on him? There you go. Uh, so if you're if you're worried about hitting stuff when you're playing as the healer and it's a heal based thing, you can go to the ground, like right here, and I can just start healing the heck out of him right here. Then you tap your R, let him heal. You can just hit the ground right here. Not a big deal. I need some food really quick. Give myself some mana. Throw your heals right onto somebody else. Just focus on healing if you really want to. Uh, it depends on how you're feeling about it and what your goals are. If you want to out some extra damage. Uh, don't stand in the purple stuff. Purple stuff bad. It's like standing in fire in WoW. Uh, hopefully we make our way over to this other side. Because over here, uh, on the other side of this, uh, up there, right there is a... Uh, another chest uh, so we're gonna go around you can see uh, our 33 crazed is going around that way to go do that so we'll just follow him around let him grab everything 
There's two guys, not a big deal. And just start beating on them. And there we go. So those are done. And then as I said, there's a little weak supply chest over here, like we said. Uh, we're coming up on the end here, uh, actually. Uh, we're almost done. This is a really, oh, okay. Well, I'm encumbered, oops. We're gonna clear some of that crap out really quick. I'm really over encumbered. Uh, dexterity focus, not gonna sell. Strength, dexterity could sell. Uh, constitution, intelligence is terrible. Medium, terrible. Strength, like gloves, terrible. Dexterity, like gloves, I'm saving those. Dexterity, medium gloves, somebody wants those. Heavy gear, strength, intelligence, terrible. And that gets us the weight that we need to. So now we're gonna run. Oh gosh, this is bad. Um, what we can do is throw that up over there and try to heal them, but I was not ready for that. I was not there. That's on them. Somebody save his butt. I wasn't there. <laughs> oh, he's going still. Okay. Yeah, he's not waiting. You just keep dumping on those heels, man. That's all you gotta do. Alright, so this guy's got him. I don't want this, um, but if I have to, I will take it, which it looks like I might have to. Stay in your bubble, dude. Stay in your bubble. There we go. Problem solved. Let's get him some fun heals here. So he's got all the heals now, so he knows it. So he's gonna go in really hard here. Because he's got the beacon on him, so he can go do what he wants. That guy's down too, and we just slide our way. So uh, this is the chamber for the last boss. That was the last respawn point. If you die during the boss, you get locked out on this door right here. There's a small group here to the left, and there is one guy to the right over here. I'm going to pull him uh, so the group can come deal with him. So if I have to deal with some other bosses here, there he is. And there we go. So we'll just do a little healing action right here for everybody. And we just sit here and wait. Uh, should be pretty easy. We probably should repair everything. We're standing here. And we'll see what happens. Um, he should keep threat on the ads. If he doesn't, then I'll take them. It's fine. Yeah, he took threat on the ads. So what I'm also gonna do is I did do one where I had to control the ads. Wow, okay, cool. Oh. Okay, so you've got the ads. So if you've got all three ads, that's fine. Oh man, I gotta take them. All you do is you just dodge and roll and you throw them down here. Don't no, leave the ads. It's, this is abnormal. Normally you don't have this problem. You see, have you dodge on? This is why I like wearing light over heavy. Some people like heavy. So, okay. So now we've got all the ads. We could just see in here and keep the ads. We don't have to do anything special. I've got the boss too. Sweet. That's awesome. So you just keep everything. 
Don't kill him, dude. Don't kill him. Come on, don't kill him. All right, he's gonna kill him. I didn't get the chance to save. Don't kill him. And just leave the ads on me. Uh, that's my fault for not saying that. The uh, I can't save it. Yep. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's not good. There's Wasabi. There he is. Let's throw it at his feet. Let's keep dodging. There we go, I got it out of the boss this time, we're in a good spot, yep. I should have said leave mommy, but that's it. So what you do is you just roll and you keep moving around the boss. Um, and really what you wanna do is in the opposite sense. I have a Twitch video on it. I'm gonna go ahead and play that now where I'm showing you how to do it. Now I'm just by myself basically having to hold this. Um, but simply put, um, it's just so much easier to do it that way because then you don't have to worry about uh, everything else that you're doing. Uh, so, you know, that's just really the biggest focus is, is you focus on that. If you take a lot of the load onto yourself, you're completely fine. So, uh, let's go ahead and roll that video so you can see it and check it out, uh, and see that video on there. So, Focus, focus, focus. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Lemur's Corner. I'm super excited to have everything and continue this new world action. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, hit that like button. And of course, as always, have a fantastic day. And we'll see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.